Hello everyone, Call Around the Way here, and today I'm back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, three things that Pixel Gun players do not really care about. Considering that they're actually super small or super big, these players do not actually find these actually very useful in the game. Usually, these players don't really use these actually for their advantage or to have fun with, really. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get into the list. Now, the first thing I want to be talking about that Pixel Gun players don't even find actually find useful is the is the arena mode now the arena mode is definitely the most pointless game mode in the game you know you just kill zombies and every time you kill like 45 of them you only get one coin and it gets harder every time every wave actually so you know why is this useful you know we have co-op survival where you can just play for four minutes you can get three coins usually when you win but in the arena mode you only get one coin every like two or three minutes and it's not really worth it for the arena mode now i will see why players do not really care about this because usually this is the most freaking uh this is the most pointless game mode in the game really it's not very fun actually to play i mean it did get a little bit more fun when they actually when uh the pixel gun company actually you know they actually made you use the starter weapons instead of your own weapons like they definitely did what like what they did in deadly games pretty much but, uh, you know, not it's not very good game mode, really, but, you know, I, I will see why people, players don't play on this game mode. For the second thing that players do not care about is the spectator mode. Now, spectator mode has been in the game since 2015, the Pixel Gun 3D. And, uh, you know, Pix Pixel Gun players don't really use it to their advantage. Now, basically, all we know, we all know what the spectator mode is, is that, you know, when you die, if you don't have resurrection when you die actually there's a little screen of what the who the person that actually killed you and they can actually see you can actually see what they're actually doing in the game you can see that if they're doing really well in the game and uh you'll see how long they actually last now um usually pixel gun players actually pretty much almost every single pixel gun 3d player and i can guarantee that everyone does this uh they actually just go into the battle now they usually just jump right back into the game right when they die. They just press the battle now button right when they die. And, you know, pretty much almost every other Pixel Gun player actually uses this. But I don't know why people don't find this useful. So let's just say there's someone that's, you're using a one-shot kill weapon. And, you know, it takes one shot to kill someone with the weapon. And, um, well, well how can I put this? Like, you, you shoot someone with that weapon and it doesn't kill them one shot. I was like, what? So, you know, you... So you can use the spectator mode to see what they're actually wearing. And you can see that they're wearing a reserve cape, actually. So, that's what that's something that they can actually, the spectator mode can be used for. And, uh, you know, that, I don't, I won't, I kind of don't see why people don't use this. I would see why they don't, but I don't see why they, they, why they don't actually use this to their advantage. Now, the third thing that is really needs to be taken care of, actually, is people using a variety of different weapons now pixel gun players only use the uh, snap weapons and the heavy weapons in pixel gun 3d because those weapons are the easiest weapons to get kills with um you know snap weapons people have enough skill now to actually snipe in pixel gun 3d and printing weapons they're easiest weapons to get kills with but people usually de neglect the primary the backup and the the uh melee sections pretty much uh, special sections actually use it a little bit more, but the backup in the primary section and the melee section, people don't use those sections, like, at all anymore, really. Like, those are the least used sections in Pixel Gun 3D right now, mostly because people do not actually use them enough for really that they have more in the game, they're actually really good. Now, there are really good weapons in the primary, the secondary, and the melee sections, you know, in the primary section... The, like, the only weapons people have to use in the primary section is the Icicle Minigun and pretty much all the slowdown weapons, which are all very annoying, actually. But, uh, you know, the only backup weapon I see people use nowadays is the Exterminator, because that thing is a prototype, pretty much. But, you know, people don't really use the Dual Laser Blasters, which is one of the best backup weapons in the game, actually. And, uh, you know, I don't know why people, not a lot of people actually use it. But, you know, I don't really see a lot of people actually using the only secondary weapon, the exterminator, out of, like, maybe the 30 that are in the game. But, you know, this is kind of a problem because, you know, the weapons are there for a reason, people not actually using them. And, uh, you know, that's the third thing, uh, is that people don't use a variety of weapons. So, um, you know, these things, I feel like, well, a few of these things, I feel like people should actually use 
more often. Basically, using a variety of different weapons and a spectator mode. The arena mode, I don't care if you play that, but <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, people don't. People are never gonna play that anyway. Uh, um, you know, the other things I said, uh, those things probably need to be a little bit more actually played with. Um, you know, so um, that's pretty much it for the video. It's not really much. I decided to do something like this. I, and there's some there's something I need to address pretty much. Uh, comment down below if you guys do do actually use some of these things to your advantage in the Clone 3D. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, comment down below and subscribe for more Pixel 3D videos. And um, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next.